Hey, hey, Merry Christmas, and hey, how you doing? Mario Markle here, and good morning, even. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm dancing to, obviously you recognize this song. Yep, the Super Mario Odyssey theme. Jump up, superstar. Yep, I uh, downloaded the theme of it on my 3DS, and I didn't think they were going to put the song on it, so very catchy. Imagine if this were played in concerts. Yep, time to show you what I got this year. I got, uh, so far I got four new 3DS games and. 11 new amiibos. Mostly of which are for Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, I, I like listening more to that song. So, hmm. yeah, anyway, let's, which will I start first? Three yes or Amiibos? You know what? I think I'll start with 3DS. In fact, there, there is one oldest game which dates back to 2011 during the release, so I'll start from there. You like fighting games? Hmm. And if you're familiar with Koi Tecmo, the guys behind Ninja Gaiden that are alive, and even Dynasty Warriors, and hey, they're the ones behind Harbor Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors now. If they're up to me, uh, I wonder if they're going to make a, a Xenoblade Chronicles. Warriors. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, speaking of dead or alive, got this. Yep, dead or alive dimensions for the 3DS. It's the first, it's the first, it's the first, it's the first dead or alive entry to, act, to actually go on to a Nintendo handheld or console. Well, usually, each and every dead or alive game is just basically an M rating. Why? Sometimes violence, the sometimes sometimes mature content by by hate by beautiful Asian women, if you know what I mean. But I'm not gonna talk about that at a time like this. But the funny thing, what the bizarre thing is that is that's the first in the series to receive a T rating. Why? They, they might have toned down the mature content a bit. Hmm, I was like, okay, can't argue with that. Yeah, well, 25 characters in total. Among them is Ryu Hayabusa of Ninja Gaiden. And basically, Ryu is the main reason for why I had to get it. And if I play Ninja Gaiden, then obviously I have no problem with Ryu. And ain't that a twist. Alright, now to the current time. Okay, next. Alright. Now, I know. Um, now, as a fan, as a fan of games of that are enhanced remakes or reimaginings, as you might say, they they basically perfect everything we love about it. Only, only grand. Metroid: Samus Returns. That's right. The remake of the original Metroid 2. Played it, changed everything, and changed everything I immediately love about, about Metroid. They, if, if they can perfect, and they can remake, and they can perfect the first entry by 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 remaking by remaking it. Then obviously, then obviously they, the, and obviously they they heard our calls. They did right with this. I'm glad they did. Yep, as. There's a lot of there's new elements, timeless action, even has enhanced Aeon abilities, which, which melee counter, free aim, totally changed Metroid yet again. That's one hell of a comeback. And this is only the beginning, because next year, they're finally making Metroid Prime 4 for the, for the Switch. Yep. 
Yeah, you get to explore SR388 and do as best you can to, to send the Metroids to the genocidal. <laughs> to the genocide extinction, I mean. Alright, next up. If you recall on my last awesome pickups vid, I show you Ultra Moon. Well, finally got her. I got the counterpart, Ultra Sun. Yep. And with that, and with that, and, oh, jeez, <laughs> sorry. And with that, it's the end of an era of Pokemon handheld. You know, I'm gonna miss them these days. Can't imagine what they're gonna look like on the Switch, though, because it'll be, it'll be changing. Yeah, it's exactly the same as Ultra Moon, and there you go. I decided to pick Rowlet, and I already downloaded the Rock Ruff in there, again. Yeah, I've been busy. It's pretty awesome. I know what the adventure's gonna end up like, so... And finally, best for last, it is yet, it is another 3DS game, yet another remake. If you, if you recall in 2003, Nintendo first revealed Mario, Super, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the GBA. Even more advanced, I mean. Well... We even heard rumors saying, saying there's going to be a remake of the original Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. After a long debate, the rumor finally came true. And what, and, and what do we get? We got Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Yep, you get to play the first, you get to play the first Mario and Luigi RPG that started it all. And I didn't think they would remake it. And then it got me thinking: Are, 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 are they going to remake the? Are they going to remake Mario and Luigi Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story as well? If that were true, I'm going to be so I'm going to be so hyped yet so pissed at the same time. Because, well, uh, I got the I got Bowser's Inside Story from the DS in my in my DS collection, but but if they're going to I don't know if they're going to do a remake for Partners in Time in that one Bowser's Inside Story in the future. I don't know how to say this, but I certainly hope not. If that were true, I'd have to trade this one away for for, for a possible future remake. You know what? Well, well Nintendo said they're, Nintendo said they're still going to continue supporting 3DS from ne through next year. Um, we'll see. Some next year, my birthday. I am planning on getting Nintendo Switch, no matter what. Now, now, I already know a few awesome Switch games to start with. One of them, uh, amongst them, is playing theme song to it. Yep, I, mean, I think I'll start with Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and hopefully Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. When I first played, when I first played this. I mean, I had no idea it's going to be Amiibo compatible because, well, even even has yet yet another story to it called Minion Quest, and for the first time you get to play as Bowser's minions in there, and this is pretty amazing. I mean, I mean, seeing it's some some kind of tactical strategy RPG game mode. Play, plays a Goomba with a red flag on top of his forehead. It's just, man. And, and, they, and, and the gameplay of it's exactly the same as, as Mario and Luigi Dream Team when I first played it. Hmm. You know what? I guess it got me. In the end, reimaginings, remakes are the very best perfections in the originals sometimes. Why? Well, usually, well, it's for both. Well, it's for both fans, old and new, for veterans and newcomers alike. It's the newcomers who, who've heard the original but, but never got it. But, but the newcomers, if you want, if you want to know the very beginning for how it started, this is where you start. <laughs> yep. To anyone who's new. Well, I'm I'm new to the first I'm new to first entries myself. So. All right, next up, we got amiibos. Start with the ones in the front. Ah, never thought, never thought we'd see the day. Yeah, two, 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 two iconic, 
two iconic beatable minions in, in every in every Super Mario game ever. Koopa Troopa and Goomba. They finally get their own amiibos. And and I found out that if you set those on, on Superstar Saga plus Bowser's minions, well along along with the Boo amiibo, you'll be able to you'll be able to unlock gold versions of these, which is far more superior. Very nice. You know what? <laughs> I never thought it'd be the minions' time to shine. Oh, besides, besides Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's minions, there's Metroid Sam's turns and their amiibo compatible as well. And yes, even they get their own amiibos. First official, first official Metroid amiibos ever made. We got the Samus, we got an official Samus Heron amiibo and a Metroid amiibo. And Samus doing, 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 the, doing the iconic lowering stance pose from, from the game's cover. Start, start, with the first, start with the original, and they did the same thing in the remake. Only perfected it. Hmm. Design reminds me, design reminds me of Metroid Prime games. As I recognize the shoulder pad spikes. Hmm. I wonder how they'll work on a Metroid Prime 4 if they're amiibo compatible, which obvious, which they're obviously going to be. And first ever Metroid amiibo is trying to escape from its container. <laughs> I didn't think they would do that, but press and hold it. Oh my God, so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, put those back. Now the rest are Zelda amiibos. So I'm gonna start with the last three in the back because the other four are best for last. Yes. So long I finally got these. Okay, I don't know if I showed those to you before. I don't think I did, but now I'm showing them to you now. Yep. The first two Zelda Breath of the Wild memes I got are Bokoblin and Guardian. Now, I got the other three. Two Links, one Zelda. Ah, sorry. Alright, I got... The Link Archer amiibo. And Wait, did I show these to you guys? You know what? Maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe I might have forget sometimes, but in case if I didn't show, you know what? You know what? You know what? Stuff like this happens sometimes. You know what? Anyway, let's just forget it. I'm gonna focus on the here and now. So anyway, here I got the Link Archer amiibo. And as you can see, here he is leaping up, up and away. Cloud right there. He's armed with a bow and a Guardian explosive arrow. The only arrows that, that, that could immediately destroy Guardians in an instant. You shoot them at their center of laser eye. He's armed with a sword and shield and a quiver of arrows in the back. Mm. Very nice. Next, we have the Link Rider amiibo. There he is, on the sword and wearing a hoodie attached to a cape, riding on a horse, and shields back there. And, and when I first saw this, I thought it would let you like unlock Pona with it, but clearly I was wrong because obviously the cover scheme doesn't match him. I think. Finally, I know I should have done these first, but that's okay. Even these can be best for last. There we have Breath of the Wild version of Princess Zelda. Oh, look at her. She looks like, she looks like she's all ready to, 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 to ride a horse anywhere she goes. She's holding what I think is a Sheikah Slate. Yeah. Set those in Breath of the Wild, whether it's from Wii U or the Switch. 
Okay, acceptable carbon one let let you unlock a, a couple of their club weapons. Set the guardian one let let you grab let you grab any any guardian material needed, whether it be armor, shields, swords, even arrows. Wait, if you can see. Yeah, see. <laughs> All right, and as for this one. Set him on there. Let it let you unlock a new uh, uh, a new saddle for your horse, and as well as a new long sword. Oh, set this one there. You want you unlock a new bow. You set Zelda in there. You unlock a new shield. First, I thought it was a Hylian shield, but no, it's something different. All right, now put those back there and finally go down to the last four. Oh, I did it! <laughs> the last, the pre, they're pretty much the last four Zelda Breath of the Wild amiibos ever made. And when I first saw these, I was like, hmm, oh, I never thought I'd see the day. Okay, it the four champions were great allies of Link. Just uh, all right, uh, ladies first. Each of the four champions represent the tribes throughout the Zelda universe, or Triforce universe, I might say. Zora, Goron. Gurudo and the Rito. So, let's we'll start with ladies first. We have the Zora champion known as Mifa, carrying her divine trident. And here we have the we have the Gerudo champion Urbosa, actually actually a current queen of the Gerudo warrior tribes. Well, usually the Guru tribe only consists of women. Yeah, just women. Alright, and here we got Rivali, who, who, who I find it to be Mr. Hotshot himself. Sometimes a show off or whatever. And as quick as a whistle. Champion, champion of the Zerito tribe. Is carrying his own bow. Oh, and uh, Bosa's weapon is, is, a, is a Gerudo sword and shield she carry behind her back. And finally, the most, the toughest, uh, the most, the most toughest amongst the four, the Goron champion Daruk. Yeah, there he is carrying his big, um, I don't know, big Goron whacking bat or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> looks more like a jolly troll if you ask me. See, each of the four champions is master of a divine beast, and and their blue and their blue and their blue scarfs over there each represent each represent the divine beast they, they currently master. Yeah, if you set each of them there, not only will you unlock specific certain weapons of theirs, but you also unlock certain headgear, mimicking the head of the each of the divine beasts. I find to be quite rare. Yep. Hm. You know, I thought you know I thought I was gonna get these in a four pack for the first time, but no, I got these separately. That's all right. Probably gonna set two Metroid Mimos up in order, in order to unlock the Aeon Reserve Tank and the Illustration the Illustration Art Gallery. Metroid Sam's Returns. Can't wait to see how those work out. <sighs> Sorry. Struggling. 
Okay, now let's put them back. Okay, that's all I got for this year. if I got a switch for this year, but I chose not to. So I just saved it for my birthday. It's going to take me quite a few months for its weight because I'm hoping they're probably going to probably gonna give it a discount, which would be nice, but then yeah, we'll see. And in addition to that, I think I'm, think I'm going to need a, a micro SD card for it with a whole lot of memory. I'm going to go with the... I think I, I'm obviously going to go with the 256 one. I heard they even made a 400 gigabyte one, which is nice, but damn, it's way too damn expensive. Yeah. Okay, whoever sings that song, she, she, she definitely deserves Grammy Awards off it. Hmm. If my pal Tony Ouija and I found out who sings this, and if she's singing somewhere, <laughs> singing this, <laughs> maybe we'll probably see her. Hmm. Should I add this, this as my new ringtone for my phone? You know what? Here is better. Okay, now. Got it going. Got a lot of gameplay to do in there, so all right. Excuse me. I I gotta enjoy the rest of Christmas with my family starting today and the next day's coming before next year hits. So don't forget to subscribe for me for obviously for obviously more possible content. Comment me down below. Give me a thumbs up and a Thumbs down any way you like. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind both. I don't mind equal balance or something. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah. hope you all have, 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 yet, have, have yet another great Christmas. This Christmas again, which is this year, so. Okay. Oh, a lot to do. So. I uh, will get going. Um, I'll leave you all to it, to, to, to whatever it is you're doing. So, see you all next time. Until then, Christmas got us all covered. So, Merry Christmas to you all and to all. Have some, to all have a memorable holiday to cherish. So, Merry Christmas anyway. <laughs>